Hello everyone, welcome to another video on how to make millions of credits. So for this installment, what I wanted to do was I wanted to, um, you know, uh, bring forward another video on, you know, it, it, this one's going to revolve around crafting. And I still don't want it to be where, you know, you have to spend hours sitting there crafting. I want my tips to be revolve around, you know, ways of which we can make millions of credits without actually having to do that much work. So this one's going to revolve around... Um, uh, crafting, but it's going to be more you just uh, send your companion on missions and then you sell the gifts. But this is a tip that I personally use a lot when I was starting out and trying to make credits, and so um, and so I'm going to pass this on to you guys. Uh, this is one that I actually forgot about, and then recently uh, I just you know thought about it and um, I wanted to see if it was still viable, and it definitely is, and that's what this video shows that you can actually make a ton of credits off of this. So. Um, Basically, what you're going to see me doing here is I'm going to be buying grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9 scavenging mission discoveries. So this is for, uh, so you know, the example I'm giving you is going to be for people who have scavenging uh, to the, to its max level, basically. But um, but basically, you know, the the um, the concept of, of what I'm doing, uh, which is buying these mission discoveries for very cheap off the GTN and then selling the materials you get from them for a lot more than what you paid for the mission discovery. Uh, it can be used uh, across different uh, mission, uh, across different crew skills and for all different levels as well. So if low levels can use this, just they're just going to be buying different um, mission discoveries. But I'm doing the highest ones because that's what turns the most profit. So um, so what you're going to see, okay, I accidentally clicked Underworld Trading, but what I meant to do was I click Scavenging. And what you're going to see here is you get the uh, mission. Once you've unlocked the mission, you can send your companion on the on the gift, and it's a wealthy yield. So it gives you a lot of, of, um, of uh, the materials. In this case, it's going to be the Scavenging Compounds and Scavenging metal, Metals. Uh, so just for some quick math, I think the next uh, clip is going to be uh, me buying the grade 9 mission discovery. Uh, so just to, I'm not going to you know let the whole video go on. I'll just tell you guys what the results were. And basically um, what I netted was uh, f for selling the grade 7 and grade 8 uh, mission discoveries. Just by s buying each mission discovery once and sending my companion on the mission once, uh, I was able to make a profit of 44153 uh, credits and then for the grade 9 materials which is I sent them on a mission and then th I'm talking about what I actually sold off the GTN and then I was able to make a profit of, for the grade 9 materials I was able to make a profit of 33,117 credits so just by sending my mission just by sending my companions out on three missions I was able to make a profit of around um, quick math here 77,000 credits and, um, you know, right off the bat, you, some of you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot. Some of you might be thinking that's, that's nothing, that's just chump change. And, um, you know, in, in my case, it is chump change. But um, as you can see here, this is my yield. But, uh, but w w keep in mind that this was a 35-minute mission. So to send the companion on the mission took 35 minutes. And so basically, and these uh, crafting materials sell very well in the GTN. And it should sell well on all, all servers, regardless of whether your server has a high population or, or a low population. And that's really the beauty when you're dealing with these scavenging materials, because everyone is crafting, and a lot of the crafting materials require scavenging uh, materials. Uh, sorry, a lot of the things that people craft for credits require scavenging materials. So... Um, so yeah, and, and, and keep in mind that I did this on only one character, and with the level 60 character tokens, uh, you know, giving lots of people max crew skills, uh, this is actually very, very viable because you can do it on different tunes as well. So, you know, you send the, uh, you, s you can only send um, each companion on, on the mission once, but you can send it across different tunes. So while I made 77,000 just by doing this on one character after one hour, basically, um, you can, you know, you could be making 700,000 credits per hour if you were doing this across 10 characters. Because, per, like, for example, right now, I've, I have used about, you know, four or five level 60 character tokens. And for each one, I've made, you know, a mercenary and stuff. And they give me a full um, crew skill of scavenging. And so I could, I could easily do this on around, uh, I'd say, maybe five or six characters. I have about five or six characters with max scavenging. I could easily do this. I just don't because I don't have the time. But for those of players who do have the time, this is a great way to make millions of credits, and it's very easy. And uh, it really is low risk because these mission discoveries have been selling cheap for a very long time. It's not just like, oh, I found this deal and it took me a long time. These mission discoveries are cheap across different servers as well. And um, and especially on the Harbinger. I'm on the Harbinger right now, and they are super dirt cheap. You can pick some up for 5,000 credits. And, um, and they usually waver around that price. So, um, so yeah, so the, basically, uh, as a quick recap in terms of what I'm doing is, um, 
you what you do is you know you want scavenging or you could have different crew skills i'm not sure how well it works on different crew skills what i tested it on was scavenging and with these dis mission discoveries but you can go ahead on your own servers and um, with your own crew skills and you know use the concept to try to find a similar way to make very easy millions of credits but um, in this case, what I did was I bought, scam I bought grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9 scavenging mission discoveries. And those mission discoveries will grant access to a mission that allows you to gain you know, a ton of these. Um, as you can see here, I got you know, 20 of each. They allow you to get a ton of these um, materials, which you can then go and sell on the GTN. And these are very good sellers. They sell very quickly, and you should have no problem selling them. And... Um, and I sold all of mine in a matter of maybe two, three hours, no matter what price I put them at. Because what you're going to see me doing here is I'm going to put them actually at a higher price. Um, I'm going to put, I think, them up for like 1200 or something. And even though they're not the lowest price in the GTN right now, they still will sell because the ones above them will sell very quickly. So, um, so the point is they're very good sellers. And you'll be making uh, you know, only maybe a few credits profit. Uh, in this case, I made 77,000 credits of profit. And um, that's not much to players who have millions upon millions of credits, but it is useful as kind of a side method of making credits, uh, which requires really little work. And um, it's definitely useful to those players who, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm going to be collecting my uh, sales, but it's definitely useful to those players who are just starting out and who need a way to make millions of credits without actually having millions of credits to start out with. That's one thing that I've been getting a lot in my comments, uh, where people have been saying, okay, great, you know, you're giving us a bunch of tips, but you need millions of credits in order for those tips to work. What about, you know, tips that allow players who don't have millions of credits to start up with, uh, you know, how should they make credits? So I guess this is another tip for them, that, you know, these mission discoveries sell for 10, 15,000 credits, and um, it costs, like, maybe around 4,000, 5,000 credits to actually send the companion on the mission. So in total, that's around 20,000 credits, but when you're pulling out 40, 50,000 credits uh, profit off of those, um, materials is definitely worth it and when you do it across different tunes it's uh, worth it as well so hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one